Okay, so it's been five years since I filmed the other elevator here at the Cherry Creek Mall in Denver. So let me call it. I think it'll come down automatically since this one is seems to be the only one working today because the other one is out of service, as you can see, between the glass doors. So here it comes. It's really slow though, but this one has the better sounding motor. Even though there is a fan on, because I wrote this a minute or two ago before I started filming, it has a good motor nonetheless. And since there is no floor indicator in here, I have no choice but to use my Spy Kinsey Labs kit as a floor indicator to indicate what floor this elevator is on. Let's close the door. There is a fan on, but the motor overpowers it. Listen. This one also has a voice. Here you go ahead. This is a pretty busy elevator, so there's going to be a lot of people on board. So let's head down to one. And watch how smooth this starts as we head down. Not even a jolt or anything. Very well maintained elevator. Ha! There's the, the metal shaft. There's the other car. I love how this elevator is made. It's so sketchy looking. We'll head up to two and we'll do an impact cam ASAP. Wait for the doors to close. There it goes. Beautiful motor. You guys coming down? Yes, I'm okay. Go ahead, go ahead, come on in. You. The other one's not working or it wouldn't bother you. Yeah, it's all right. Let's head down to one. Please. Well, there's only one way, so, <laughs> duh. <laughs> this doesn't even have a floor indicator, so I'm using this as this, so. Yeah, the elevator, elevator isn't working. Should have put a sign on it, I guess. Thank Button you. instantly goes out. Please stand clear of the doors. Lower level. Thank you. Thank you. You guys go ahead. Go. And we'll end the video in the elevator cab because, you know, it's a pretty busy elevator. So, there it goes and that's it.